Hey, it's Dr. Jen. Um, hope everybody's doing well. I'm just getting home from work and wanted to say a few things about masks. I've been thinking about this um, over the weekend and you know, we've been educating ourselves um, more about what's been going on because even working over 20 years in public safety and emergency management, even the WHO, the World Health Organization, um, God love them, they're making mistakes, they're tired, um, you know, and having to, to, you know, fix some things, and so people are tired, and it's always good to, to be as much, as educated as much as you can be right now. So I just wanted to share a few things about masks really quick. Um, I just worked all day. Um, I've been out working with people, um, sensitive populations. I work, um, I do counseling hours during the day to support um, my business and to keep it, you know, afloat. So I've been out doing that all day and when I turned on the video, I had this N95 mask on. Um, so this is not the only type of N95 masks. There are many types out there. This has been in my bag for quite a while. I have many, if you know me well, I have many emergency preparedness bags. And at some point I'll do a video on those because I haven't done one yet. Um, but there are many N95 masks. Um, I have them a lot of different kinds. This is another N95 mask. But right now, the truth of it is, um, if you don't have an N95 mask, which have always been considered to be the best and most protection, um, <laughs> you really should use something. Um, we watched a video over the weekend and we've been following this great channel and I'll put a link to it um, below in the, in the notes section here um, so that you can go to that channel and perhaps subscribe, but at least watch the the video at the link that I share with you, um, which really covers a lot about masks. And it shows what the special camera lens, what it looks like when you're just talking to somebody and you have particles coming out of your mouth. It actually shows that and it's so much more. Some of the droplets drop right away onto the floor and some go out this way um, toward people and you'd be surprised when watching this video just how far they go <laughs> um, and so I just wanted to share um, that and some creative mask um, ideas that I found um, out and around um, lately um, over the past week or so um, you know just for you to see I'm, I'm grateful to be well my family's well we're staying on top of it um, and you know our hearts are with everybody who are even more on the front lines so I'm out there working but I'm not working at a hospital I'm working with a sensitive population but I'm not working at a hospital so I have friends out there working at hospitals and my hearts are with you um, you know my, my friend Kathy Dupre shout out to Kathy she made a comment on one of my posts that you know hey Jen this is you know kinda like reminding me of 15 years ago when we were preparing for the avian flu and writing all these pandemic plans and you know it just didn't rise to the level of what we're seeing now in terms of you know staying home and schools being closed and all this um, and it's just so interesting to see things come forward um, so I think that's it I'm gonna post some pictures of some creative mask ideas that I've seen um, and I just wish everybody everybody a great day um, please go ahead and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos and they're helpful have a good day be safe out there